Hey there, friends. Are you ready for today's really big question? Our question for today is, how many books are in the Old Testament? Are there two? 39? 66? Or 27? Hmm. That's a really tough question, but I'm sure you'll get it after today's lesson through God's Word. Let's dive in. Come, let's sing Jesus, 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 let's sing Jesus, and every day children's way. Hey there, friends. I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday and that you had a marvelous Monday. You know, I got a brand new book a few days ago, and I want to share more things that I found out about this book with you because you're a very special friend to me. Did you know yesterday we talked about how the Bible had 66 books all within this one book? And the Bible is divided into two sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And today I thought we would talk about the Old Testament. Now, the Old Testament isn't like when you see your grandma or your grandpa, and it's really wrinkly, but that's a little mean. They're very nice people, I guarantee. And even in the Old Testament, it's a very nice book. Well, actually, it's a lot of books. It's not 66 books, but there's actually 39 books in the Old Testament. And you know, when you look through the Old Testament, there's a lot of different names that are really hard to say, like Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and a word I can't even say, Deuteronomy. I don't know. Now, they're really hard words to say, but I bet your parents know how to say them, and I bet your preacher or your Bible class teacher knows how to say them. Why don't you spend some time with them and ask them, how do you say the books of the Old Testament? Now remember, there's 39 books, and in the Old Testament, it shows how God delivers His people that are known as the children of Israel. Israel is a place like we think where we live in America, except Israel is way on almost the other side of the earth. And it's in this place where God cared for His people, helped them to grow and be strong, just like you are. And you know, the Old Testament actually gives us stories that we can use to learn about life today. You know, some of the most popular Old Testament stories are the days of creation, the ten plagues, the story of David and the lion's den, or excuse me, Daniel and the lion's den, David and Goliath, there we go, I'm mixing stories together. But you know, there's so many stories, it's so easy to get confused on what God wants us to focus on. But you know, if you miss everything there is in the Old Testament, remember this one thing, friends. The Old Testament really shows us who God is, and it shows us the promise of a coming king. That king's name was Jesus, which we read about in the New Testament. So I hope that you look through your Old Testament, and it seems like a lot of long words and hard to pronounce, but I'm sure if you study with someone else with you, you'll learn these names just like that. Now, friends, that's all the time we have today. Let's go sing a song with our friend Paul and work on our memory work. Let's go. Sing Christian songs with Paul. Thanks, E.T. Hey, kids, would you like to sing another Christian song? How about the B-I-B-L-E? Oh, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. 
Oh, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Oh, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. Bible! Great job, kids. We'll see you next time. Are you ready for the memory work for this week? Our memory work this week comes from Psalm chapter 119 and verse 103. That's Psalm 119 verse 103. Let's say it together. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Let's say it one more time. Are you ready? Three, two, one. How sweet are your words to my taste? Sweeter than honey to my mouth. Now work really, really hard, friends. And by the end of the week, you'll have another piece of God's word in your heart. Are you ready for the answer for today's really big question? Our question today was, how many books are in the Old Testament? Are there two, 39, 66, or 27? Hmm, let's get rid of these two. You got it. If you guessed 39, you're correct. Great job, friends. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Come, let's sing Jesus, a Jesus, Jesus, a Jesus, Jesus, a Jesus, Jesus, let's sing Jesus, and every day children's way.